Ben Pearson Roadster Tracker, I realized once again I've forgotten to turn off the power plant, so we're gonna do that now, and then we're going to go for a ride. So what we do is we put down one accumulator. And this is gonna have power. And then we connect this to the pump. We're gonna say if the accumulator has less than 30% power, then the pump is active. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, so if the accumulator charge is A, is less than 30. So if we're getting anything close, then we will turn that on. Otherwise, we're just gonna rely on the accumulators and this should effectively make it so we're not using the steam power anymore. We're gonna be pure solar, baby. Woohoo! Now our trains, of course, are still coal-based, but minor detail. Minor detail. How is this looking? We're getting close to another dredging platform. But we're not there yet. Okay. Anything else worth doing here? I'm actually going to shift this over. We're going to say input priority from the right, but we're going to uh, shift where the inputs are coming from. So we're trying to get rid of these in an effective way. Okay. I should have just done this. So weird to do this. Feels wrong. To switch things up. But what we're going to do is we're just going to empty out this guy first of everything that it's got. And then, you know, there'll be still coal. Uh, we could probably kill the coal supply. And we'll have a little bit more space. We're just condensing things a little bit. So we don't have our gappers. Okay. Let's um keep going. What's next? We're on backup power supply now. You can see the accumulators kicked in. Produced 200k iron plates per hour. Wow. Probably because we're turning almost all of it into steel. So let's pick up another cargo ship. Three cargo ships is probably good enough. Uh, ports! We do need ports. What do we need to build a port? Steel plates. Port's something we can request. I don't know if we're making any. We should do some signal buoys too.
Signal buoys are a little bit wacky, but um, yeah. I don't think we're going to need that many, to be honest. Yeah, let's just pick up a little bit of steel. Oh, I hate to pick up steel when it's like this. That's okay, we'll just take some of the island steel now. How is this looking? <gasps> we have our first shipment. We have no power poles. Oh no. Can't believe how much steel we're burning through. But uh, the factory is growing leaps and bounds. Look at this. Yeah, that spike there in the charge was to charge the accumulators because we did start to use them. We had not really been using the accumulators before. So now we're effectively coal free. Woohoo! Zero emissions, baby! Yeah! Now we're gonna go nuclear soon. Which it's. Nuclear's a little bit complicated, but it's not that bad. And it's so much more efficient in terms of space, both in real life and in this game. Um, I just realized I should request centrifuges. Full stack, sure. Next time we're in, we're going to do that because nuclear is something we will do, but we're not there yet. Okay, so the dredging platform is going to be what we do first. because I don't know what those will do. Um, I'm gonna always request a little bit of solar panels. That way we can set off on an island. We can do our solar powered radar station. We're probably gonna want to do that. This is, I like this mod pack because it feels like you're almost, you know, every island hop, it's, it's like a rogue light where you are taking advantage of your previous resources to start, but you're almost starting again from the beginning. And that's kind of what it feels like. And we're doing, you know, way better the second island. Second island is, you know, was always solar powered and it, um, doesn't have as much manufacturing resources that it's required. Are we on track? Yeah, we're decent. Seamount one here. So we'll just go straight like this. We'll have to ship the rocket fuel for this ship. But that's okay. I suspect that the rocket fuel will not ship that well, but that is also okay. It doesn't need to. It's actually pretty energy dense. I think we're going at about the right point. Yeah. See, if we had solar panels, I would totally set up a radar station down there, but we don't have any, so... Power is too much of a pain without the solar panels. There's something here. Oh, just a little uranium more. Interesting. Probably not worth getting oh on track it basically dead ahead good slightly up which is exactly how we're going beautiful so let's see here can't remember if i talked about the space exploration uh they had announced a mod for a dlc for factorial a long time ago for space exploration Type those tasks. I think they call it space ages. It's similar to 
but really better than the uh, the DLC or the mod that exists for space exploration. Space exploration is, as I understand, painful. Okay, put you right there. Whoa. So this has no power. So we actually have to produce power for you. Oh dear. The boat is full, so we can't take the boat. Okay. So we'll stick the fuel in. We're going to stick rails in. We have a lot of rails. We'll leave these rails in. Okay, so yeah. Um, we do have the solar panels that are over here. This guy. So let's go pick some up. And we'll set up a radar and more, I guess. I don't know how much power that's going to take. That's going to be rough. <clears throat> that's uh, probably a lot of power required in order to do anything. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. It's a very, very small amount of land. Hmm. I see now why we needed the concrete, though. This is a new and interesting challenge. Yep, uh, this shouldn't be too bad. It's too small for nuclear, so I'm really hoping a few solar panels will do the trick. We'll find out. Ooh, we also... will have to containerize whatever's on there, too. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. That's nasty. Yeah, I don't think I succeeded in having a fully tileable uh, panel arrangement, but it's not bad. We can we can make do. And this is actually quite a bit of power. We have actually been maxing out the solar panels, but only for a little while because the accumulators are being charged. So let's get. I'm going to cancel this request. We'll get some accumulators and some solar panels. More than we need. I don't think we can actually build solar panels from here. We're going to have to build them on this island as opposed to the mainland. There's just not enough juice. What does it take for a solar panel again? Lead, copper, steel, and electronic circuits. So we actually have everything needed down over at our lead processing facility to make solar panels. So I think we're going to make solar panels there and save the main base from making any more. Hmm. 
will make drop shipping them a little bit more painful. Anything to consume more lead. Boy, this is taking forever to walk. And not surprisingly, we already passed the boat. I'm sure you guys are already telling me in the comments. Um, what else is going on? So I set out a poll a couple of days ago about what game to stream next. And RimWorld came out on top, so I'm starting to figure out what I want to do with that. You'll probably actually see the first episode there. The main reason why I've been wanting to do something different is I still want to keep the Factorios to one a day, but I'm actually succeeding in recording more than one a day. And I have more time now than I did when I was recording one a day, so may as well, right? Um, other than that, it'll just go to the Netflix subscription that I just recently renewed. Oh, we have a radar-ish coverage down there. So we don't actually need the radar. I don't know how this is going to work, though. Because I doubt there's enough power with just solar power. We'll try. I do not know how well this will work. So space is a huge premium here. So let's just do a substation. Cannot build on dredging platform. What? Oh, this thing all has power. Okay. So it is effectively a substation. Okay. Still low power. We're going to get a bunch of these nodules. Can't build on deep water, of course. So I guess all of these edges are going to be reserved for our accumulators. And one of them will do something else. Okay. Now... I have no idea how much power is being consumed. Okay. Max power consumption... Oh my gosh, this is so low. Somehow we have to be able to get power that will work vastly, vastly better. Huh. This is enough to get something. Okay. So we have some of these nodes. Can we... I didn't grab any. Oh, why? Um, where's our containerizers? Yeah, let's put the containerizer here. So we're going to say node. 
cool brick. Okay. So we don't containerize them. So what do we do? Just I'll put it here. Yeah. And then can we Do this. Let's see, Alt W. Alt W R R. It's probably too far, but let's go ahead and put down our cargo ship. Where are you, cargo ship? Yeah, it's too far. Uh, can we cut you? Okay. So we have no fuel, of course. But we'll get that in a moment. Let's just see if we can... Can we just load these... Stack size 1? Oh, no, 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 no. Hopefully. Really? Hmm. So what do we do with those nodes? Do we like smelt them or something? It's not smelted. And the good thing is, is I actually believe that this is full. So what do we do with these nodes? Um, production building. a recipe? speaker we've got copper lamps um is it a refinery thing copper ore okay we take sulfuric acid cupric nodule and then we're gonna get a bunch of stuff Including some more Cooper nodules. Okay. Well, this is interesting. So each one of those nodes is actually going to be fairly high production. I hope this is enough. So... We need a sulfur acid train here. It's going to be very similar to that. 
and the sulfur acid is going to be delivered let's say here roughly will be where we do um let's go ahead and put a radar down maybe So we'll scan out a little bit more from here. We may need actually several tanker ships. Let's come down to there. stupid let's fix this hang on and not pick the fish you do robot fishing in this game it is a thing alt w we're going to go this way there we go Let's put a port in. Why do we have one of these? It's so bizarre. Um, ports, ports, ports. We need steel. That's right. We weren't going to steal the steel. I forgot to get a port though. So that's fine. This is wild. <clears throat> Still, this will be a game changer. Hmm. Some stone. So we have to be able to filter out all of the different resources that come from the nodes. But we'll have, I mean, I don't know how else we're going to get copper. We have not seen any copper. Any. Other than the initial patch. Which has lasted for a long time. But I don't know how much longer that can last. Hmm. I just wanted to see most of the waterway. We're actually going to keep coming up here. Think about... Well, those nods have a lot of resources. So even though it takes some time with the amount of power that we've got, we can put in more solar panels. That's the trick, right? I guess this isn't that far. We can just belt whatever copper up here and we'll belt the iron too. And we can extend this. That'll be fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Uh, we're just here mostly for the steel. So we can get some ports. Two, three, four, five, six. Guess that's good. We're also going to need to extend the train network down here because of the sulfur acid, if nothing else. How many chem plants do we have? Do we have any? We 
anything? No. So we need to request cam plants. Now we do have some that are up at our other at the refinery, which we're gonna visit. Um Fluid Vaticans, we got rid of those because I didn't think we were gonna use them anytime soon. But we'll put in a request for some when we go back to the base. Sorry, this is just blowing my mind here. One stack is probably enough. I don't think we're gonna need more than one very often. Amazing, we've already gone through a few of these. I mean, they were just the. There's always a few that you place that really don't need it. What's going on there? Okay, well, that was a problem. So now the steel will start to get packaged up again. Good. I need to make sure that we can charge the steel train because that could be a problem. Well, nah. Let's go set up our new fluid system. Hope we have enough space here. Jeez. Um, let's reroute this. Because we're... going to be quite full, to say the least. Let's see. Yeah, the wood, that's fine. Don't think we can easily do anything better than this. Well, we could go up here. The problem is, is getting across this. Right? So... I guess we could do this with Red Belt. Do we have some Red Undergrounds? That should be something we keep one stack of. We cannot make any because we need lots of iron. That's fine. These go in, so we want this to go this way. That's a long, long hop, but that's okay. We'll figure this out in a moment. And then go down like this. Okay, we need the long underground, so that's okay. We'll figure that out later. Now, next. Gosh, I cannot go straight. Two, three, four. Let's just build right there. 
And... Do we have the RoboPort network? Oh dear. Okay, we'll kill that. Get this going, good. Now, let's see, do we have tanks? I hope we do. Okay, we can bridge this across. Sharing a charger. Don't. Something tells me that's a bad idea. But I think what we can do is actually offset this. So we're going to push in and out, and in and out. Okay. That should do. So then let's get the sulfuric acid brought here. That's what I get for not killing the trees. Oh well. It's nice to have a little bit of green. And still remember where we can get our landfill from. When we need it, because we will need it. So let's go to actually about the same point, maybe right there. The sulfuric acid comes here. So we're just going to come out here and pipe you along. Okay. And I predict that's going to cause a lot of things to start running. The factory runneth. <clears throat> cool. Now, huh, how do we do this? What if we... We know? So, how about, like, maybe here? So that gets it in. Good, good. And then the out. Okay. We'll just do this. This will be fine. I don't think... Well, we're going to have at least one more solid good soon. There we go. Hey, hey, we got an empty container because we're using the sulfuric acid. Beautiful. 
Now, let's put some um, train down here. And I really doubt I have the tanker cars, but we will be filling this full of tanker cars. Let's stick in some fuel, which we don't have any on us. Must have dropped it all off over there. Hmm. We'll go pick up the fuel then. How are we doing time? 40 minutes. Uh, we'll go a little bit more. So pick up the fuel. We'll get everything other than the stations. And then I'll try and remember to go pick up some fuel stations from um, the other base. Uh, we can get rid of some excesses there. It's going to be nice to have the... Uh, The extra stuff coming in, the extra copper, the stone. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. Obviously, the Cooper nudes are just to, you know, filter those out, put them back in. But we have three output products, which is, you know, I guess it's fair. It is a challenging operation, to say the least. Well, so then it should start to load these in. Probably make this a fast inserter so it can get a couple of chops at it. Let's pick up some batteries. Do I have the fluid tanks in here? Maybe. Oh, we have storage containers, yeah. But well, we need the batteries first. Storage containers, I guess, are a second. So we don't have enough empties, which is fine. Um, I'm actually going to stick in 10. Is greater than or equal to 20. So now we can go right back to the steel. Make a little bit of a noise and the steel will start to be packed up again. Woohoo! Um, I don't need the fluid cars. Let's just make them here. We'll just handcraft. Yeah, it just requires some steel and whatnot. chest down. We're going to stick all of our pipes in there. And then we need a little bit of steel and a lot of iron so that we can build our tanker cars. More fluid wagons. Perfect. So now we'll have the fluid to bring the sulfuric acid down. It means we could do even more. We'll verify that this all works. And yeah.
something's missing from that intersection. What is it? Is it this guy? No? Oh, something clicked. It was just a light. Okay. Let's go just put down our tinker car and then we'll call the episode done. Done and dusted. I'm trying to think what else we may need. Uh, we don't have any of them yet, but we will have them all soon. Uh, we do have the batteries. Okay. And the oil is burning quickly. Actually, light on petroleum. No. Yeah, we're light on gas. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, we're actually not burning this light oil quickly enough. Probably means we could put some more uh, solid machines. Just stick the pipes and I don't know the camp plants in here. Stick some of them, but not all of them. We're gonna copy extend this by four. So for this. Actually, we kind of need to extend it even more. Eh. Okay, pipes, pipes. Uh, poles, too. really need these. One should be more than enough. Okay, now we need to reverse the side. Two, four, six, eight. We should be good. Let's just put some chem plants in here. Chem plants, chem plants are here. Okay. Uh, we'll leave the pipe here because we're better to have a bunch of that than the refinery. I have one more stack of unders. Yes. Okay. We do need. Medium power poles. Hmm. Okay. And then we can stick some solid here. Um, let's take a little bit of rocket fuel with us because that will make the shipping a little bit easier. We'll take as many stacks as we can take, which is one. I don't know if one stack will do there. We'll see. We'll see. We do know that we're going to someday want another tanker here. So let's Alt W. We're just going to place it down. 
think it'll be here. Well, you only need a few connection points, so... That should do, and then can we put the tanker down? Okay, let's try this again. Yeah. Alright, we'll put you over here. W. What? Straight waterway with sufficient space on all sides. Does it literally have to be like horizontal or vertical straight? Yes, that is the case. Interesting. Let's uh, cut this a little bit closer. So we got a little bit more space here. Okay, and then deconstruct. We'll get this little piece. Okay. So we have a little bit more room here now. I'm going to try to do this. Try like this, I guess. I think the odds of the ships being next to each other are so slim that it's just not worth it. You know, I'm confident that this can fit in. But we'll just do it like this. We'll landfill it. Finally. <sighs> yeah, uh, we do have landfill, so let's see. We'll fill that in. And I think we do need a little bit more here. The tank actually can go partially on the land, but the fuel has to go here. Let's go see if the rocket fuel will work. Well, we have one stack. And actually, this pump is going to go the other way. The rocket fuel is where? Okay, it's gone long. But I want to just check this one thing out before we go. Okay, the rocket fuel is loading in and we're connecting to the ship so all is well thank you guys so much for joining me let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have 
appreciate all that you do. And until next time, keep on trekking. Take care. We will see you then. And I'm going to fix this between episodes. Bye-bye. <laughs>